Good morning everyone, Tina Spaulding Trance Channel here today for our morning session of day 21 in 40 days and 40 nights with Jesus. Let's see what he has to say to us today. You are blessed beings indeed, I am that one that you know as Jesus and the intensity of this coming month will surprise you. There are going to be many stories, many uh, incidents, uh, many provocative um, energies coming your way. It is very important for you to understand what is happening when you are being provoked. When you are being provoked, you are being dragged down into duality. Duality is the nature of this place. It is the nature of separation. The good and the bad are separate. You are good and they are bad. This is what you have all chosen. You have all chosen to come into separation. Crazy as it sounds, this is what you decided to do when you, <clears throat> when you decided to individuate. You divide, decided to separate yourself from the divine and come into this world of seeming death and destruction. Now, if you look around you, you will see, well, it's not all death and destruction. My neighbors are happily mowing their lawn and um, the birds are singing and the sky is beautiful. These are some of the things that humans really, really appreciate. But really, this is the seductiveness of the illusion. The illusion keeps telling you it's beautiful and yet everything dies here. The illusion keeps telling you um, that there are amazing things happening and yet many people's lives are filled with suffering and sacrifice and pain. So you have a very, very mixed message coming to you. However, when you are on media systems all the time, you have a very, very narrow band of messages coming to you. And those messages are designed messages. Every single message you receive through your television station and through your increasingly commercialized computer viewing stations, social media stations, every single thing that you are seeing is strategically designed to get you to feel something and to act in a particular way. When you are out in nature, that is not so. When you are uh, immersed in your own creativity, that is not so. But you must begin to observe these um, means of communication, your television, your radio, your commercialized social media programs that have advertising and that are censoring, the quote unquote free social media marketing platforms like Facebook, which are anything but free. Uh, they have corralled you into dependence and now through their censoring devices are shepherding you towards that which they want you to go towards. There is this feeling that you have freedom within those systems, but you don't. You're assuming that your post is going to your friends and it's not. Uh, so we, <clears throat> we want you to begin to view these messaging and hypnotic devices with suspicion because they are going to be used over the next few months to keep you down in duality, which means they are going to be used to upset you, to cause you to judge others, to cause you to plummet your frequency from that of love to guilt, making others guilty. This is how the ego mind perpetuates itself, and this is how the controlling mechanisms of your society control you by keeping you in your ego. So any food commercial, for example, that you witness is going to trigger in you the ego's desire for food. Now the ego is all about survival, physical survival. And this is why many of you are becoming obese in your society is because you have these constant messages coming your way that, that food-like products, pizza, things like this are fun and will make you happy. Anyone who eats lots of pizza, pizza will not be feeling very good and will not be very happy. Go to nature once again. Go to the foods that are unprocessed. The plum, the peach, the
the celery, the kale, all of these things, these beautiful foods that nature has given you for your survival is where you will find your health. And of course, knowing that your food production systems are contaminated intentionally, yes, it is intentional. The Food and Drug Administration and these um, big bodies that are designed to keep you safe, or at least that is the mandate that they foist upon you, are allowing copious quantities of toxic materials, known carcinogens, to be sprayed on your food. You must begin to look at commercially produced food with suspicion. Now, when we say suspicion, we mean use your intelligence. We do not mean become angry. We mean use your intelligence. Read the signs along the way. Stay calm. Focus on that which you love. Focus on that which is whole and wholesome and begin to take back every section of your life from this poisonous system. The poisonous system is ramping up. It is ramping up, but it is in disguise. It is in, in disguise behind the familiar faces of your CNN news reporters. It is in disguise behind the mission statements of monitoring systems that are meant to keep you healthy, but are not keeping you healthy. It is very similar to this idea of words are cheap. Look at actions. Look at the actions. Look at the fruits of what is happening. Look at the riots on the streets. Look at the burning of buildings. Look at the fear that is being generated. It is intentional and it is pervasive. You must be in the world, but not of it. Yes, you are in your bodies. Yes, you are here walking along your path to salvation. But you must now begin to use your innate intelligence, your innate intelligence, not your conditioning, to decide what you do with your time, what you allow into your mind and what you allow into your bodies. I am that one that you know is Jesus. And I will speak to you again later. Thank you very much for joining me this morning and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.